The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the Intercontinental Championship. Well, this guy looks eager to add some gold around his waist. Let's see if he can do it. Love the passion this competitor brings to the ring each and every week. Well, this superstar has all the tools needed to win this one. Now let's see if he can put them together. His eyes tell the story of a man determined to win here tonight. If he's not determined to win, stay on. Introducing the challenger from Lucerne, Switzerland, weighing in at 232 pounds, Cesaro. And his opponent, residing in Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion, The So much anticipation, and it all comes down to this. The Miz proclaims to be the most must-see WWE superstar of all time. Well, the awesome one is going to have his chance to prove that right now. It's come down to a battle of attrition right now. Yeah, it can really go either way at this point. Man, what a struggle. Cesaro possesses one of the most versatile and devastating offensive arsenals I've ever seen. He crushes opponents with his stun gun, double stomp, power bomb, hanging gut wrench suplex, the hangman's clutch, and a brutal headbutt that could crack someone's skull. Just making his presence felt there. Cesaro reversing it. Incredible. Looking highly motivated here. Michael, you brought up Cesaro's forms of attack, and I have to say that in more than 40 years in this business, I've never seen anything like it. Cesaro has a suplex where he stands on the middle rope, lifts his opponents in the air from the apron, and suplexes him into the ring. 
it redefines the term superplex. I like what I'm seeing here from Cesaro. Got the same move over and over. This is relentless. I am getting tired of watching this. Do something different. Good Lord, that wasn't even close. So that's what it's like being so far off the mark. Oh, God. Oh. That was hitting the nail right on the head. If he takes many more of those, he's going to get lit up like a Christmas tree. Oh. Inside the ring again. Yeah, and they should be. This is where the action needs to be. Six. I think one of the things that has helped Miz in his WWE career is having a great finishing move. The skull-crushing finale has helped the awesome one stay awesome against all comers. Miz and finishers became more interesting when he added the figure four after special training by the one and only Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Woo! Oh, after that, you're not seeing stars, you're looking at constellations. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Moves like that can upset your opponent more than hurt them. And into the cover. Oh, he looks like he's in no man's land here. He needs to be able to put things back together here. Michael, this is a dangerous position to be in. He needs to be able to find a way to clear the cobwebs and regroup. You and I both know how important a strong finishing maneuver. Oh, man, cutting off circulation to the brain. You could pass out from a hold like that. What diabolical things are going through that mind right now? When you get in control like this, you want to throw everything at your opponent. And that could be what we're seeing here. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. Look out, the Swiss Superman got drilled that time. Man, that looked brutal. That may have caused an injury, Cole. Snapmare Driver. Snapmare Driver. The Miz's work is done here. Yeah, I think you're right, Cole. Miz the winner. Three. We talked about the Miz and his finishing move, and he definitely developed the right type with his skull-crushing finale. I think it's perfect for Miz because Miz loves nothing more than putting an opponent's face oh. right in the mat. For Miz to add a submission maneuver, especially one from the legend Ric Flair, is oh. quite impressive. Well, a superstar knows right away when he's developed a strong finishing move. Two. And the Miz definitely knew that the skull-crushing finale was going to bring him tons of WWE Three. gold. Since he's added Flair's famous figure four, no one knows what WWE Championship oh. Miz will end up winning next. The Miz imposes his will. Five. Watch it. Miz. Crushing finale. What a finishing maneuver. This could be it. It's got to be it. Seven. Now, who does a methodical pace benefit, King? Well, I'll tell you. Whenever the dominating competitor takes his time, it gives everybody a chance to catch their breath. Cesaro was first ushered to the ring by the beautiful diva, Oksana. He won the United States Championship in 2000. And he keeps 